Hi, this is Mrs Sykes again, and we are looking at enzyme graphs. Now, unfortunately for you, enzyme reactions happen all over the body. Enzyme reactions happen in animals, they happen in plants, they happen in yeast, they even happen in bacteria. So the example can basically give you any reaction ever and expect you to be able to work out what is going on. But luckily, there are some things that will come up time and time again. You just need to spot that those are the common things the exam board is wanting you to find and wanting you to see. The first thing that you need to be keeping an eye out for if you're looking at enzymes or trying to spot a question about enzymes is most of the time you're going to come across temperature. Not always, but quite often. And within any kind of graph or any kind of data that you get for temperature, it's going to be weird in the middle. So this particular data goes up to a point and back down again because of temperature. And that screams, this is a question about enzymes. Because enzymes are sensitive to temperature, so they change. But instead of being a simple graph like you would quite often get in chemistry, where it would just go upwards, because it becomes back down again, that screams to me that it must be something to do with enzymes. Because enzymes work best at a middle temperature. So I know instantly from this shape that it must be an enzyme thing. Sometimes, if the exam board is being particularly mean, they might give you this graph upside down. So it goes low in the middle. And you still have temperature along the bottom. But either way, it is weird with temperature in the middle. So if you find a set of numbers in a results table or a graph, because they're always easier to work, and it's odd in the middle, then that tells you that it's going to be an enzyme question. So temperature affects the way that enzymes work. This is the best point or the optimum. So optimum is the highest, best possible way that an enzyme can work. Like an athlete's optimum performance, it's their best, best ever. So in this case, it's the highest point of a graph. Now this particular graph is about rate of reaction, so how quickly it is. Speed or rate of reaction. So this might be how much of it is released per second, per time. If it's how long it takes, if something's working really quickly, it's not going to take very much time. So if it's how long it takes, it will be upside down. If it's its speed, so like miles per hour is a speed, grams per second is a speed, then it would be the characteristic one that looks a little bit like a hill. So this is the one that you normally see. And this will be something like temperature along the bottom, usually in degrees Celsius, and then speed or rate up the time. Bit in the middle is weird. That is the best, the optimum point. Now we need to get to what is going on and why. If you were asked to describe this graph, that means say what you see. If you were asked to describe, I would be quoting those three numbers, three points that I've circled. And you would say the graph starts at, read off those two numbers, and it reaches an optimum at, read off that number, that number, and then it falls down to, read that number and that number. It doesn't matter for a described question why it has happened. Everybody can do described questions, whether you understand the science behind it or not, literally say what you see on the graph. If you are asked to explain it, however, you're going to need to understand what's going on in terms of the enzymes. On the way up here, this is all to do with kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is the energy of movement. And the hotter something is, the more kinetic energy it has. And that is completely true. Things continue to have kinetic energy all the way off into the distance. So this point has a certain amount of kinetic energy, so it goes at a certain speed. If you increase the temperature a bit more, it has more kinetic energy, it goes faster. So the substrate and the enzyme will collide more often and therefore more reactions will take place. 
If you go even hotter, there's more kinetic energy, more movement, more collisions, so more rate of reaction, so the speed or the rate is higher. Up until this point here, this is the best possible you can get the optimum point. But after that, there is so much kinetic energy, so much heat energy, that the enzyme starts to melt. So at this point, the enzyme itself begins to denature. Now don't forget there are thousands and millions of enzyme molecules. So at this point, a couple of them are broken. Here, quite a lot of them are broken, so less of the reaction can take place, but some of them are still working. Here, pretty much all of them are denatured. Here, every single one is denatured. And here, and then continuing off in this direction, they are all denatured, so no reaction takes place. Sometimes when you see this in a graph, it falls more sharply than that because the enzymes denature very quickly. But either way, it will go up and it will go down. So when you are explaining, you need to be saying because. And I would suggest that you split the graph into two sections. So in section one, the rate of reaction increases because there's more kinetic energy and therefore more enzymes are colliding with the substrate, more reaction is taking place. But past the optimum, and you should be using that word, in section two, label it on your exam paper. The examiner will see the picture. In section two, there is so much heat that the enzymes begin to denature. If you can't remember what that is, that's when the active site changes so that the substrate no longer fits inside. And if it no longer fits inside, it cannot cause any more reactions to take place. When they have denatured, the reaction stops. So here we've got a complete stop because everything is too hot. Here it's not doing anything because it's too cold. Here it's working really fast because the reaction is at its optimum temperature. So if you see a graph that goes up and down or numbers in a table that are to do with temperature and they're weird in the middle, or you see a graph that looks a little bit like this one, which is weird in the middle with temperature, you know that it's gonna be an enzyme graph. And the reason why that happens is in section one is kinetic energy, the more, the faster. And in section two, so much heat causes the enzyme to denature, so the reaction will stop.